Hello everyone. Today for Super Kids, you are going to need pages 30 and 31. What we're going to start off with doing is we're going to skip to page 31. And there are four pictures down at the bottom of the page. I would like you to pause the video and cut out those four pictures for me. First cut on these outside dotted line and then cut and separate them on the middle dotted line. So go ahead and pause the video for a sec. Cut those out, and then when you're done, you can restart the video. Okay, so we should have these four pictures cut out. Let's look at those four pictures really quick. When I look at these pictures, I see a boy and I see a girl. These are the characters in our story. The boy, his name is Jack, and the girl, her name is Jill. And they are holding a bucket in the first picture. And it looks like they're going to be taking the bucket up a hill to get water. They're getting water from this thing here, and that is called a well. And pretty much what a well is, is it's this big, deep pool in the ground. And the boy and the girl, they're going to put the, water, the bucket down in the well to get some water. So let's go back to page 30. We're going to be matching those pictures with the words on the story. So let's read this part first. I see some, that's kind of hard for you to see. I see some quotation marks around this first word. So remember, quotation marks tell us when someone is speaking. So let's read. We've got a Q-U, so we got qu e quick. Ooh, and here's our memory word. Does anyone remember what that memory word is? S-A-I-D. That spells said. Quick. Said Jack. Read that with me. Quick, said Jack. Oh, and here's another word. It's in quotation marks. That means someone's going to say it. Quick, said Jill. Jill. Oh, and here's another sentence that someone's saying. Let's let's get get the bucket bucket to the top of the hill. All right, let's read that all together. Quick, said Jack. Quick, said Jill. Let's get the bucket to the top of the hill. So I want you to stop for a moment, and I want you to look at your picture. Can you hold up the picture that shows what Jack and Jill are doing in this page? Let's look. I'm going to look on my page 31 really quick. Ooh, we should be holding up the picture of Jack pointing up the hill because that's where they're going to go. So that's where that first picture is going to go. So go ahead and you can either place the picture there or glue it there. Okay, let's read the next page of the story. I see more quotation marks. Remember, those quotation marks tell us that someone is speaking in the story. St uh, stop. Said Jack. Stop. Stop. Said Jill. The bucket. The bucket is oh, full, and it will spill. Let's read that again. Stop. Said Jack. Stop. Said Jill. The bucket is full, and it will. Spill. Bill. Okay, so can you hold up the picture that matches that page of the story? I'm going to flip to my page 31 so I can look at the pictures too. Hmm, let's see. So we already used this picture down here where Jack's pointing to the top of the hill. Hmm, I bet it's going to be this picture where they're filling the bucket. They're saying, because Jack and Jill both say stop, because the bucket is full. So let's use that picture with Jack and Jill at the well. So let's read those two pages one more time. Sometimes stories have a little bit of a rhythm, so let's try to say it in rhythm. I'm going to clap as I read. You can point or you can clap. That part's up to you. Quick, said Jack. Quick, said Jill. Let's get the bucket to the top of the hill. Stop said Jack. Stop, said Jill. The bucket is full and it will spill. Okay, let's go on to the next page. Let's read. Help, help, said Jack. Help, said Jill. As the buck, that buck 
said Jack. Help, said Jill, as the bucket fell to the bottom of the hill. Now, what picture is going to go with that page? Probably the picture of Jack and Jill falling and the bucket falling to the bottom of the hill. So go ahead and put that picture right up here. Now let's read the last page of our story. Huff, said Jack. Huff, said Jill. Let's run back, back up to the top of the hill. Let's read that one more time. Smooth it out a little bit. Huff, said Jack. Huff said, Jill, let's run back up to the top of the hill. What picture do you think is going to match the last page of the story? This last picture here where Jack and Jill, they look all wet and tired, and it looks like they've got an empty bucket that they have to take all the way back up the hill to get more water. Let's read... The last two pages of the story all together. Are we ready? Help, said Jack. Help, said Jill, as the bucket fell to the bottom of the hill. Now let's read that and let's say it in rhythm. Ready? Help, said Jack. Help, said Jill, as the bucket fell to the bottom of the hill. Last one. Let's read in rhythm. Help, said Jack. Huff said, Jill, let's run back up to the top of the hill. Okay, so remember in our story, we saw those quotation marks. Those are super important. Does anyone remember what does a quotation mark do? So quotation marks tell us what the characters in the story said. So I see here, huh. Help, in between two quotation marks, said Jack. So who said help the first time? Jack did, because it said, said Jack. And then the next line says, help, said Jill. So who said help the second time? Jill did. Let's read our poem one more time all together. One more time. We're going to read it in rhythm, all right? Erase all my little marks. Okie dokie. So, you ready? Let's start here. Quick said Jack. Quick said Jill. Let's get the bucket to the top of the hill. Said Jack. Stop, said Jill. The bucket is full and it will spill. I didn't turn the page. Ooh, maybe. There we go. Help, said Jack. Help, said Jill, as the bucket fell to the bottom of the hill. Help, said Jack. Help, said Jill. Let's run back up to the top of the hill. All right, and that is our story and our Super Kids activity for today. I hope everybody has a great day. Bye, everybody.